Before we move on, let's take a look at this month's big idea one more time. Repeat after me. Courage is being brave enough to do what you should do even when you are afraid. And this month we've been talking about um this month we've been talking about uh well all of you excuse me for one second. Brady? Brady, I can see you. What? I can see you. You can see me? Yes, that's what that's what I just said. How can you see me? I'm in camouflage. You don't you mean camouflage? Yes, how can you see me? Well, for one thing, nothing else in here is green except for my shirt. Well, if you can see me, how am I going to hide from them, Andrew? How? Who? Who are you talking about? They won't stop coming to my house, Andrew. They won't stop coming. Who? Brady, you have me worried now. You should be, because they're coming to your house, too. What? And they're coming to your houses as well. Please hide while you have a chance. Brady... What on earth are you talking about? Oh, wait, 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 wait. What's the character word this month again? Right, courage. I think this is all starting to come, become very clear. So, Brady. No, Brady here. Just a little old plant. Right, so... Name's Hydrangea. Oh, uh, okay, Hydrangea. Get out from behind the plant. No, they'll see me. These people, are they coming to your house? And your house, and yours. Right, are they dressed up? Yes. And when they come to the door, do they say anything? Yes. And do they want something from you? Yes, and they won't leave until I give them what they want. Well, Brady, if it makes you feel that uncomfortable, you don't have to hand out candy. What? Yeah, you really don't. All you have to do is turn the porch light off and the kids will rock, walk right on by. Uh... And it's okay to be a little afraid of the scary masks. Andrew, what in the world are you talking about? Trick-or-treaters. Isn't that what you're talking about? No! Well, then who is coming to your house? The chicken man. What? Every October, he comes driving by in his chicken truck, wearing his chicken costume, and he lures me into buying pound after pound of fried chicken. What? He's like the ice cream man, but for poultry. But why are you afraid of this guy? Do you know how much I love fried chicken? I'll go broke if he stops at my house one more time. So, instead, you're going to hide in a shrub? Exactly. You'll never find me, fried chicken finger man. Okay, well, Brady and I... Yeah, well, this wasn't as clear of an example of courage as I had hoped, but it will still work. One thing that can require courage is meeting new people. How many of you have ever gone to a new, new school before? Getting to know someone, seeing if they like the same food or find the same things funny, it can be scary. And having courage might just help you make a new friend or learn something new about someone. That's him. He's here. Run! 